Oh, this shit finna go down. This shit finna go down, I'm telling you. What up, Facebook Live? Hold on, we coming to you in a minute. Oh, we got something special set up for y'all today. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Be raw steam, man. We finna get ready to get it, dog. Y'all pause. We ain't going nowhere long. Okay. Oh yeah. Y'all need to know nothing about this shit right here though. Be brought steam, man. We can be. Hey yo. This is my dog, man. We finna get ready to chop it up. Welcome everybody to Facebook Live. What's happening? I just had to start it off with this shit right here though. Who? What? You don't know a fucking thing. Pussy nigga, shut up. <laughs> yeah. What the business is, Facebook? What up, yo? We get ready to set this thing off, man. Welcome, everybody, y'all. Come on in. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome. You know what I'm talking about? Project, hey, Project Preview. Love all, y'all. What's that? This shit finna go down. Hey, man. Hey! This shit going down, I'm telling you, man. Listen, man. For what? Hey, it's crazy, man, yo. Yeah. You are tuned to the K100 Radio, hip hop and R&B. Yo, it's crazy, man. What y'all know about that? What the business is? Do what you do. Hey. Hold on, man. Let me stop you. Hold on, man. Stop, 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 stop. Cut. Fuck going on Facebook Live? It's happening. It's your dog, Blizzard. Welcome, everybody, to k one Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show. 347-934-0966. That's the number dial to the show. 347-934-0966. That's the number dial to the show. Of course, we got a special uh, project review uh, that we're getting ready to do with my homie, Blood Raw. We got the dog on the line real quick. B-Raw Steen, what's up, homie? What's happening, folks? What they do, Blizzard? Shit, man. Chillin', man. What's going on, man? Welcome to the show again. <laughs> Turn this, turn this thing all the way up. You know what I'm talking about, man. So, yo, this is uh, something that uh, actually, this is the first time we've uh, I've done one of these on Facebook Live. So, it's only fitting. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a do the first one with my dog, man, with my bro, man. You know what I'm talking about, man. This is K100 Radio I'm again. Hey, listen, man. Who Let's else, who, who, it, man. Who else y'all it. thought I was going to do the first one of these on Facebook Live with? Honestly. Outside of. <laughs> I mean, really, though. Hey. Yeah. What? Hey. <laughs> hey, listen, I know Bay County checking in real, real heavy tonight, though, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they is. They, they, I'm pretty sure they're definitely checking in, man. Shout out to everybody that's rocking with us over here on Facebook Live. I really appreciate it, man. Everybody that's watching already, man. Uh, I see everybody. Y'all let me know if y'all hear me live over there on Facebook Live. Everything should be coming through uh, crystal clear. But if y'all got any problems, y'all let me know down there in the Facebook Live feed. Of course, I see China Sykes already watching. Thomas Dickey already watching. Uh, Kim Space, what up? Rodney Rogers checking in. What's going on, homie? What's happening? All right, man. Let's go ahead and jump into this shit, man. We ain't got, we ain't going to pause. We ain't going to delay or nothing, man. This is a project preview, man. This is I'm trying to change. Listen, man. This is my official review. I'm going to be doing a couple of these. This is my official review of a project. This is where I pull up a project. I sit down and chop it up with y'all, and I play it, and I let y'all know what I think, and then I talk to the artist. You know what I'm saying? Let them know what I think about the project. Now, of course, I'm going to tell y'all some real shit, to be honest, which I'm a little bit biased. This is a bias. This is bias. Sure. I'm a little biased. This is, this is my partner right here. So I'm a little biased. I'm going to keep it real with y'all about that. So y'all don't be like, oh, that's just sure. your homeboy. Listen, this is my dog. 
So I'm biased, but, but I'm also honest and I'm also highly objective. Blood Raw is a... Uh, uh, is, is the homie, man. We both from Panama City, Florida. For people that's listening and watching right now, Facebook Live, and you don't know that, we both from the same hometown. You know what I mean? And um, yeah. you know, I I I, I have a, a a place in my heart for my hometown. You know, I've been in Atlanta for almost twenty years now, but home is home at the end of the day. If you understand what it's like growing up in a small city where everybody know everybody, then you know you got that kind of affection. You build up a kind of affection for the city if, if everything was always been one hundred with your life, your family, your friends, your childhood memories. You know what I'm saying? So. Nostalgia aside, nostalgia aside, it's true that yes, this is my homie. This homie is from my from my hometown, and he's made great strides in the music industry, and I respect Big Game for that. But this is about the motherfucking music tonight. Okay. Let's not be, let's not get everything fucked let's up and confused. It. This shit is about the music tonight. My dog is consistently, consistently <laughs> for years before I even started rapping. Listen, listen, before I even started rapping, he was rapping. When he was still getting in trouble, when he was still running around there thugging it all the way out, he was rapping. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? All right? So let's not let, let's be clear. This is about, again, somebody that I know, somebody from my hometown, but more than, more than anything, this is about respect for a motherfucker grind, dog. This shit is about respect for a person Let's grind. Go. Point blank, period. Don't I don't want people to jumping on here and saying I'm doing all this just because he's from Panama City. Yeah, they got something to do with it, nigga. Yeah, you're right. It do. It got a little bit of something to do with it. <laughs> A little bit, nigga. But let's let's be perfectly fucking clear about why I'm doing this shit right here, right now. This shit is respecting the motherfucker grind from my hometown. Real. It's a big motherfucking That's difference. Real. There's a lot of motherfuckers from Panama City who ain't did this for. Oh. And it's not because I don't fuck with them. This shit is about respecting the motherfucker grind. Levels to this shit, That's real. accomplishments. So I want to be perfectly clear when we jump in. Start feeling some type of way about something or anything like that right there. This shit is all about respect for a grinder. I'm a grinder. I respect other grinders. I'm not saying blood is the only person in Panama City that's grinding, but this shit right here, the things, when you see me do stuff like this right here, this is because, yes, the homie is, I know him personally, and yes, he's from the hometown, but beyond all that, this is about making us and putting some, put some good music out and, and the grind, bro. This is what this is all about. So, I'm yes, I'm definitely showing him this yeah. love. And this look, because I respect this dude grind, point blank fucking period. He has been doing this shit consistently for a very long time, and he's reached high, he's reached levels that a lot of y'all may talk about, but you ain't never got there yet. So let's just keep this shit 100. Oh, That's how we're going to start this shit. K100 Radio, <laughs> the phone line is open. You got a problem with what I just said? Call, nigga, or say it in Facebook. It don't matter. Check in. Check in. 347-934-0966. But that's how we're going to start this shit off tonight. You feel what I'm saying? Let me clear the air. Let me clear the air. All right, B. Rothstein. What's going on, man? What's happening? What's been up, man? Man, I'm Jack Cooler, man. I'm listening to the music. I'm listening to what you're talking about. And we're going to answer any questions the fans want to answer, man. I just want to salute you, though, bro. Like you said, we come from a city, man, where there's nothing to offer, man. We No big radio station that we can go to and get our music played as a local artist or nothing. Like, we, we damn near had to fight to... Orlando or Miami. Right. You know what I'm saying? For us, that's four, five hours. Right. Miami is eight hours from us. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like we ever had no type of support or influence for our grind. Like, we had to get it from the most. One play, period. And that's that's we, what, that, that's and, it, man. And, and, and the main thing is, I could, I could speak for you and I could speak for myself. We never complained about nothing. We just did what we had to do. We ain't pointing no fingers. We ain't said, well, this person ain't helping us or that person ain't doing this. No, we, we did what we had to do. Yeah, it took longer, but guess what? I bet the people respect our grind. Exactly. And that's what this is all about right here on K100 Radio, man. This is paying homage to a homie who really deserves the platform, who really deserves the look. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not saying that there there is there is there isn't other artists that I don't know from home and from beyond that don't deserve the look or whatever. What I'm saying is, yes, this is a, this is the homie. This is a friend. This is a, a comrade in arms in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? Yes, from my hometown, but more than anything, this is about this man's tremendous grind. How many projects is this, Blood? What what number is this? I don't lost count. I ain't gonna lie. What number is this? Man, I I, I, I don't even know the number. <laughs> but, but, but but the main the, 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 the main the main two accomplishments that we just want to throw out there just for people that don't know. You know, we got a number four and a number five album on Billboard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, 
you know. And that, that alone, you know, sets the bar. Right, exactly. So you know what I'm saying? I ain't never been on Billboard. Me personally. And I'm and I've 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 worked and worked to work. Well, I still ain't made Billboard yet. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of other people who may feel a type of way about whatever, but you still ain't done that yet. And people may be say, ah, that don't mean nothing. Yes, it do, nigga. Cause at the end of the day, everybody say fuck right, the Grammys yeah. and fuck Billboard until they make Billboard. And then it's like, nigga, I'm on I'm on oh, the Grammy. Every, everybody's situations change once you make it to that level. And then you recognize and you really didn't respect oh, yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man, uh, I want to definitely go ahead and jump in and get into the music. But I want to tell a story. Can I tell a story real quick? Right. For sure. Let's get it. Let me tell a story. So, right, the funny thing about, about me and Blood's situation and, and, and growing up in, in Panama City in a city that's really small where... We knew of each other. We did, We never hung out, right? I'm going to tell everybody that's listening to this because you guys may not know a little bit of backstory, right? So I never really hung with Blug. We hung with two different camps of people. The city's small, but you still got your clicks and crews like everywhere else. You feel me? So I didn't hang with the homie girl. I didn't hustle with him, nothing in the streets, none of that, right? So we actually met in Atlanta, even though we, well, not met. Yeah. We actually hooked up musically as artists. Got together. Right, got together as artists in Atlanta for the first time. Which is crazy, not really crazy, because we both left Panama City, moved to Atlanta to pursue our dreams, you know what I'm saying, in the career. And we felt like Atlanta was the place, which we was definitely right at the time. It was before it even really turned into what right. it really turned into. We both was had the foresight to see Atlanta is really going to make a mark. And that's, where we, that's the closest place for us to go to try to make the moves we need to make as artists. We were both artists. We were both grinding. Right. And the first time I, I when I met Blood, Blood had just jumped out of bed, you know what I'm saying? He was he was grinding, he was working, and uh, he just hit me up, man. You know, we helped, we went over there, helped you move. We were with uh, me and Freddie Lock with them. We helped the homie move, right? We was helping yep. to move, and then he was like, uh, "Yeah, man, I'm going to the studio." So, you know, guys know people know I'm like a big Tupac, Tupac fan, Tupac Outlaws fan, right? I grew up listening to the guys, one of my favorite artists. So, Blood hit me up one day. He was like, "Yo, man, uh, I'm going to a studio." You know what I'm saying? I want you to come through and just, you know what I'm saying, kick it. You know what I'm saying? Come through. So I'm like, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? I pull up. This dude got the outlaws in the studio, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he got the out Tupac's outlaws, those outlaws, the real outlaws in the studio doing a song with him, right? So I'm like, shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 didn't, I walked into the session kind of thinking like, yeah, it's going to be blood and whoever he's working with or whatever. And it was the outlaws in the, in, in, in the studio with him. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, what's going on, man, man? Yeah, I appreciate you having me sitting on a session. All of a sudden, Blood, he, they write into the track. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, Blood, like, yo, you want to get on the song? I'm like, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, you want to put me on the song with, with the outlaws? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you sure about this? Because I'm really, at this point, I'm really, I really had just started really being an MC. Like, I playing around freestyling growing up in high school, doing all the little stuff. But I had never really had a project out. Had never even really recorded my voice. Really. Just yeah, just crazy. was just writing songs for people and just working with other people. Really, I was a ghostwriter, writing raps for other people back then. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right. and the homie was like, You want to get on a song? And I'm like, uh shit, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, shit, I don't <laughs> even know, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna, I don't wanna get on your song. This this is epic right here, what you're doing. You feel me? And he like, shit, my nigga, I, I I believe in you, bro. You know what I'm saying, nigga? You fine. What fuck you talking about? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And uh, I just want to say publicly, man, you know what I'm saying? If I've never told anybody, that was one of the first boosts of confidence I ever got, bro. You know what I'm saying? That was the first time I for felt sure. like sure. a motherfucker believed in me enough to actually put me on a song with this, in this situation, on the spot, write it right here, right now, and let's get it. I had never been in that situation, man. and I had never had nobody ever, but you gave me my very, 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 one of my, one, not my very first, but one of my early, really boosts of confidence as an artist right. to say, nigga, yeah, actually, you must really be nice if this dude's about to let you do this. And it gave me a, a, a level of confidence from then on. I don't think, I don't think, I, I, I left the studio that day a changed, a changed artist. I left the studio that day feeling like, nigga, I just did a song with the Outlaws. Fuck all you niggas. I'm boss, nigga. I can, That's I got real. it. I got to have it. And you gave me a level of confidence that I can That's never, real. you can't, this, this is a true story, right? You know what I'm saying? This is like, right. I'm telling you guys something that happened over a decade ago that shaped me as a person and probably help me get to where I'm at right now. This is another reason why I do stuff and this is another reason why we're here right now because that's what you call paying it forward. That confidence and everything right now, now this now reverse how many years later, 15 years later and now I'm in a position to show right. love to my dog. What the fuck you think I'm going to do? So let's For get sure. it. That's a little story in case you motherfuckers didn't know. I got more with blood. I got more stories with blood, Rob. We got, we got more stories. We got more stories. 
<laughs> but we're going to get into the motherfucking we got music. More of those stories. <laughs> we got a couple of more of those stories that you'll be like, nigga, that really happened? Yes, nigga, that really happened. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With my dog, man. So, uh, listen, but I wanted, I just want to get somebody, I, I put a little bit of context of why some people may feel like, man, nigga, you know, especially Panama City people who feel like this nigga show blood a lot of love. It's the reason why I show my homie love. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just for, just for shits and giggles. You know what I'm saying? And that's because. We got a mutual respect for each other's grind as artists. So the music, man, let's jump into it. Now this project right here to the death of me, dog. I'm a, let me let me start with the cover. Yeah. Let me start with the cover because the cover, <laughs> the cover controversial as fuck. Right. And when I seen the cover, I was like, oh, of course, of course. Ah, I, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know, bro. I was like, when I when I saw the cover, I was like, that's risky. That's risky. I don't know. I don't know. You of know course. what I'm saying? Go ahead and tell me what made you do that cover of right course. there. What made you do that cover? I mean, if anybody ever followed me or, 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 or read up on me or even listened to me, like one out of every, I'm going to say, I'm going to say three out of every 10 posts that I do, I'm a big spiritual guy. Like I'm always talk about God, like right. in my music and everything, like mo a lot of people are fans of me because of the way that I talk about God. I can honestly say that I was probably one of the, the, the first street rappers that openly talk about God on a national level. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the main thing is with me is that I, I know that I have a bigger purpose with my music than just, you know, a, a trap rapper. You feel me? Like, you know, the, 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 my messages touch people in a whole nother different way. So I basically, you know, I know the sacrifices, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that Jesus Christ went through for us. You feel me? Whether who believe it or not, you know what I'm saying? I know for a fact, not just him alone, that he made the ultimate sacrifice, but it was other people that got hung on the cross, that got tortured just like him. You feel me? So it's all about the sacrifice that we all go through. You know what I'm saying? And as long as I don't belittle him in no type of way, the message says that if you go through some of this, you know, relationship problems, uh, uh, the struggle, uh, 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 not having your mom and dad around, or anything that you go through that's dealing with pain, is a sacrifice. And that's just the message of the whole to the death of me. Like, I'm not going to never change for nobody. I'm going to be me. And I'm going to keep it real to the death of me. I ain't going to be in. I ain't going to break none of that shit. I'm going to be blood raw, and that's what it is. And that's what it is. Uh, talk to him, Big Rube. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and set it off, man. This is the intro, and then we're going to go ahead and let it run over to the first track, Get Some Money, uh, produced, by, produced by T. Spaceland. We'll talk about that. In a second. K100 Radio. Don't pause right now. We live project review. Our project review. State of existence uh, from which there can be no exemptions. Contempt for the truth shows a lack of ascension. And a mind that's been blinded to reality's dimensions. Lived rough in these streets. A long time been invested. Learned each life is precious. Even mine has seen many blessings. Be real with self first because realism is required. Not from some book, but from surviving the test this wisdom is acquired. It's how I'm wired. Bred in the bone and blood since the moment I was sired. A fire that blazes, a soul that rages. Through each chapter of my existence, burning truth in the pages. And for the time I have left, whether moments or ages, I learn all I can from life's many sages. Not just surviving, but thriving through all the new phases. A righteous, ambitious, yet nutritious recipe that I'll endeavor to never stray away from. For even a second, from long before this record, till the death of me.
I'm gonna I'm I'm play like 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 snippets, I guess you would say, of the joint, because we only got a limited amount of time. We want to actually get some feedback and talk to it, you know, uh, talk to Blood Raw about the songs. But that was the first one. We played the intro, and then we played Get Some Money. Also, I want you guys to actually click that link and and download the actual project and download it yourself. You feel what I'm talking about? On top of that, you know what I'm saying? So we are gonna feed y'all just yeah. enough to bait y'all in tonight. That's what we are gonna do. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Just enough to make y'all go ahead and click that download, that that that, that buy button, whatever, whatever blood wants y'all to do. If y'all want to buy it and support it, it's on live mixtapes. It's on a lot of different outlets. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to give y'all just enough, and then we're going to chop it up with blood. Uh, get some money. Talk to me about oh, that song. What was the inspiration behind that joint, blood? Just basically, man, get back to what I'm known to do, man. Like, my whole life, man, I just... I've been against the grain, you feel me? Like, I've been, uh, I, the deck been stacked against me. Like, the odds been against me. Like, you feel me? Like, ain't nobody never gave me nothing. Anything I ever wanted, I had to go get it. You feel me? Like, I came in the game of Florida, young cat, man, from Panama City, Florida. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I was getting to the money, but, you know, everywhere you went, it was doors being closed because I wasn't a so-called from here. You know how it could be, like, you not being from Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you're not being from Orlando or Tampa or Miami. Like, they're going to close the door on you because you're not, one of the, you're not one of the hometown homies. You feel me? Right. So, it's basically like, you know, I just got, I, I kind of got comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? Expecting people to do things for face value. You know what I'm saying? When I know that in this industry, that's, that ain't worth a damn. You know what I'm saying? I mean, people going to lie to you in your face, and when they get from around you, you'll never hear from them again. So, so I just had to go back to me, man. Like, fuck, I had to get some money, man. Let's let's get back to it. Or how, what made us? You know what I'm saying? What made Blood Raw? What made Blood Raw was Blood Raw getting on the road, man, and just grinding and doing whatever he had to do. You know what I'm saying? To get it done. You feel me? And, and my support has always came from my fans. Like, no, no radio, no, no, no internet, none of that. Like, my my support has always came from the streets. So. That's basically where I had to take it back to. All right, and uh, I'll give you my review of that one. <clears throat> I like that one. That's one that, you know. You 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 you. I already know blood. You know. You probably can tell me what songs I actually like on the record because you know what you know what version of Blood Raw I'm a I'm a right. true fan you know. of. Yep. Right, yep. right. And we are gonna get into exactly. them we, we, when we start getting when we get to Getaway Two. You know what I'm saying? And while yep. I'm still yep. here, and to the yep. death of me, you know. Yep. Yep. Right, you know my Blood Raw records. 
my blood raw yeah. records i really 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 yeah. fuck with you on and this is this is but but i like that record too though because you've got you've got you've got to me you've got you've always had two sides you've got the you've got d-boy blood raw and then you've got should have been a preacher yeah. blood raw should have been a preacher blood raw you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's, there's two of these niggas. You know what I'm saying? You got Dope Boy Blood Raw and Should Have Been a That's Preacher real. Blood Raw. And I love Should Have Been a Preacher Blood Raw music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to be clear, like, that's the bigger <laughs> message. That's the, that's the whole thing of why I always involve God in what I do because I know that, you know, it's just a different side of me that the world needs to hear. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, everybody in the world is going through either the struggle or them been through pain or whatever. And it's more that I'm more vocal to express that side than most people. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go ahead and jump into the next one. All right. Uh, tell me about Fuck With Me, uh, produced by Shrim Beats. I like the, I like the fact that on live it has every the producers. Shout yeah. out to you for showing the producers love. You feel what I'm talking about? Like a oh, lot yeah, of cats man, don't I, even I, put I, that in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, and that's, that's, that's my thing, man. Anybody who I deal with or who I who I rock with, man, I've been rocking with them for a minute. And I'm going to always, I'm going to always get them they claim the fame because that's, people don't appreciate the people that be behind the scenes and the people that don't make the puzzle come together. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for the producers, then I would be a fella. Like, it, it go hand in hand. You have to show people the support that supports you. You feel me? Yeah. So I've been, a, I've always been an advocate on giving everybody they just do and they and they shine and all that you know what i'm saying because it makes people go harder for you and it show your appreciation absolutely so fuck with me produced by shrimp beats tell me about this and we're gonna jump into this one and then we go to run up a check go ahead yeah fuck fuck with me man fuck with me it's produced by my homeboy boy Shern, man he out of albany georgia man uh that's my partner man we've been he, he got a lot of big records on that that you probably didn't even know that he produced man um you know on soul food and uh, 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 ignorant music and you know uh, I mean any producer that's on the album I've been rocking with them for the last five six projects so they've been around man and they really showed out on this on this project you know what I'm saying uh, but fuck with me basically man you know again to, this, this, this is directed to the streets man and anybody you know uh, uh, who lost confidence or who thought it was over or whatever however you felt you know what I'm saying I'm just saying to the people man like fuck with me you know what I'm saying don't don't judge me, just fuck with me. Listen to the music and fuck with me, because if you listen to the music, you're going to be a fan. Whether whether you've been a fan or you just not becoming a fan. If you listen to the music, you're going to become a fan, and that's just what it is. Fuck with me. All right, let's check this one out. Fuck with me. Track number three, uh, Blood Raw to the Death of Me. Let's go.
fuck with pussy niggas. And we know that you a pussy nigga. We got no love for them pussy niggas. Pussy nigga get the middle finger. I told the plug I'm trying to flood the city. You trying to get it, nigga, fuck with me. I told wait, we ain't looking back. Took a loss, I'm trying to get it back. Yeah, we still got that work, though. Ah. Ah. Hold up, we back, we back, we back. Hey, 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 I told you we gonna play those things. We'll give you a little bit of taste, then we're gonna pump the brakes. Oh, man. K100 Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks about it for rocking to the show. Uh 347-934-0966. Yo, you got a blood, you got a question for blood? You wanna address some shit? That number right there. You see it going across the top with this fancy ass fucking setup I got, nickel. <laughs> 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 ah! I'm going to give y'all a minute to catch up to oh, this man. one. I'm going to give y'all a minute to catch up to this one, and then I'm going to really fuck you up in 2017. 347-934-0966. That's the number to dial to the show. We live right now. Project preview to the death of me. Blood Raw. My homie checking in with me right, live right now, man. We're going track for track. We're going to chop it up with the homie. That was fuck with me. Yeah. All right? The next joint we got coming yeah. up called Ran Up a Check, produced by Beetlejuice. He had a dope oh, song. Man. What was the song he did on the last project that I fucked with that I was playing that Beetlejuice that did? Did. That I can tell. He yeah. I can tell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he nice. He yeah. nice. I need to, I need, be, I need, I gotta, I yeah, gotta, I gotta, I gotta get his number from you. He nice. Yeah, I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna hook you up. That's <laughs> homie, man. He, 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 I, hey, listen to me, man. I got, I got big plans for dog, man. Like, I tell him all the time how much I believe in him, man, because he got it, man. He got it. Yeah. He's nice. He's a nice producer, man. Shout out to him. So tell me about, uh, tell me about Ran Up A Check. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. What's going on? Man, ran up a check, basically, man, like what we do. You feel me? Like, you know, it, it, it ain't been nothing, man, in life that I ain't never want to do that I couldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Money has always been an easy thing. You feel me? It's just about, you know, keeping people around you, good people around you, man, who don't who don't have them, them bad spirits, uh, 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 jealousy and envy. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to always set the platform for anybody who I deal with to get some money in some type of way. Exactly. You feel me? So, you know, like I say, man, yeah, man, like I said, we ain't doing no complaining. We ain't asking no favors. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't doing none of that. We just going to get to the money, and, and, and we're going to work. And that's what it is. We're going to run up a check regardless. Absolutely, you know what I'm talking about, man. Let's check this one. Hey, uh, got a couple, got a couple people, um, got a couple people hollering at you over there on the sound, on the, uh, on the uh, Facebook Live. So if you can, I know you since you on since you on the phone, I know you don't want to do it on your phone, but uh, you know you got a couple people hollering at you on Facebook Live. So after we done, you know what I'm saying, go over there and just tell them what's up, right. homie blood. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, when we when we get done, I'm gonna come check in with everybody, man. Absolutely. When we get done, I'm gonna come check in with everybody. I'm gonna reply. I'm gonna do all that. Anybody wanna holler at me, man? I, I, I hit, I'm gonna basically just leave a comment or whatever you wanna do, and I'm gonna reply. I'm gonna holler at you however you wanna holler. Absolutely. Or, or you can follow instructions and call. That's real. Three four seven nine three four zero nine six six, and call in right now. And if you really wanna show blood some love, call in live right now. Three four seven nine three four zero nine six six, and get on the on get and get and get on the line. Uh, live right now. Holla at him, man. You know what I'm saying? This shit is being recorded and documented. All right, let's run up a check. K100 Radio, Thank right you. now. DJ Win, DJ Win. A broke hater at that. I didn't get my motherfucking money, nigga. Watch, watch me work, you bastards. Bastards. I Oh, man. 
right, 347-934-0966. That's the number to dial to the show, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm hitting the phone lines, man. I, you know what, though? The, good, the crazy thing about Facebook Live, blood, is Facebook Live is so addictive, yeah. motherfucker don't want to get off Facebook Live and call in no more. You know what I'm saying? I know that, right. Right. My Facebook live be popping so much now, my goddamn phone lines done cut in half. You know what I'm saying? My phone lines used to be oh, fucking... Man. Niggas, are, everybody want to talk now. They want to type. It's all good, though. I appreciate all the feedback. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate you guys watching right now, man, and rocking yeah. with me and Blood Raw right now, man, for this project uh, preview, uh, project review of Blood Raw's uh, To The Death For Me, the new project he got out, hosted by DJ Win, man. Shout out to DJ Win, another fucking grinder that I got to salute and got big respect for, man. I see this dude everywhere. I saw him at uh, at the SEL yeah, Awards, man. I saw him at everywhere, man, at the uh, Diamond Awards. Everywhere I be at, man, up here at A3C, man, I see DJ Win. Uh, South by Southwest, I see DJ Win every fucking where we be, bro. <laughs> big up to DJ That's fucking Win. Shout out. Yo, for real. Yeah, man. <laughs> You know, that's, that's another thing with this project, man. I just tried to put all the right pieces together. You feel me? And DJ Wynn ain't just hosted CD. He hosted the CD because he's my DJ now. You feel me? So we just, we put we put all the pieces of the puzzle. So, and y'all can catch me and DJ Wynn on the random check tour coming to a city near you. You feel me? Oh, a tour. A tour, you say. Tell me about that. Yeah, Didn't know man. about that. Tell me about the tour real quick. <laughs> Tell her, hey, hey man. this exclusive, man. We gotta have all the listen. We gotta have exclusive news, blood. This gotta be some exclusive. You gotta be. This gotta be some shit where you ain't heard. This was the first place you heard that shit at. Right here. Tell me. Oh man, this, I, I, it, this some shit. I'm gonna let out the bag for only here on K100 Radio. I'm gonna let it out today, man. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna let it out the bag, man. You feel me? You want some exclusive shit? I'm gonna let it out the bag. You feel me? Uh, 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 uh. I mean, you know, you may have seen a couple pictures or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh. uh of a little meeting I just had with uh, Epic Records, you know what I'm saying? So between me and you, you know what I'm saying, we 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 98 percent almost there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know that you feel me? That's epic. That's epic. That's epic. We heard it for you. You heard it here first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At who, who, dog, you deserve you deserve uh you deserve a, a, a shot again. You feel me? You've had a shot and you and you didn't you didn't even blow the for shot. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You made the shot. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It was, a, it was, it was a buzzer beater, uh, but not a buzzer beater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was, a, it was at, it was at the right, end. Right. Of, it was at well, the I'm, end of regulation. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say this. Yeah. I'm gonna say this, man. I, I don't want to clear the air, but especially to my hometown. I don't give a fuck about what nobody else say because I don't, I don't, I don't owe nobody no explanation. You feel me? But right. It kind of kills me because people don't even be knowing the story. They just be talking. You feel me? So I'm gonna clear the airway right now, like. Blood Raw left CP, Blood Raw left Young Jeezy's label because they wasn't handling business right. You feel me? Right. You and I know that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the people don't know that. They think that Jeezy let me go. No, Jeezy held me back for 18 months and wouldn't sign the paperwork. You feel me? So, you know, between you and me and between for everybody out there, Blood Raw left that situation. So that just goes to show you, like, I don't, I, I never needed nobody to hold my hand, you feel me? If you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, then I then we don't need to be in business. And that's just really what it was, you feel me? And at the end of the day, I'm going to always stand on my two feet. I'm going to always do what I got to do, you know what I'm saying? But if you ain't living up to your part of the obligation, and there's no difference than what L.A. Reid told me. He said, they dropped the ball, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. They dropped the ball. We, it, 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 My budget was open for my second project. Jesus is the only person that signed, didn't sign off. L.A. Reid signed off. Joe Barino signed off. You feel me? So it's a lot of things that people be talking about that I don't reply to on the Internet. But just because my own kind is listening heavy, I want to let them know, like, don't get it fucked up. I've been that nigga for the deal. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I ain't being cocky. I'm just telling you facts. Right. These are facts. This is, this is the truth. And, and I never hated on dog in no type of way. You know what I'm saying, but I could I could never just sit back and let nobody you know play with my life. Like you feel me? Exactly, exactly. All right, I had to stop the background music on that shit. I had to cut the music and everything. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> I stopped the music on the background. Like hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me make sure we get this shit crystal clear, nigga. Crystal clear. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> now look. Um. Uh. So so. Oh, somebody was calling. If you was just calling eight five zero. 
I was getting ready to, you got to, listen, if you call into the show, you got to be patient. Like, I can't just stop everything, nigga, and just break into the conversation and bring you on the line. So, call into the station. Hold on for a minute. We're going to get to you, all right? I seen a couple people call, but it's like, you got to wait for a second. If, we, if we're talking about something and we're conversating, be patient. It may take you five or ten minutes. If you call the FM station, you motherfucking black ass ain't going to even get on that bitch at all. 99% of the time. <laughs> at least I'm literally going to answer the phone at some point, nigga. Be patient. God damn, oh, what you man. got to do? Chill out. It's like a fucking Tuesday, nigga. You ain't getting that much money. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, uh, call back. My bad. I was I was going to answer those two calls, and they called and they hung up. Okay, here they go. Hold up, blood. We got somebody on the phone yeah. lines. Let's get it. Let's get to the phone line. Let's get it. Y'all, y'all want to talk to blood live? Ask him a question. Don't go back on your goddamn Facebook gossiping like a hoe, nigga. You want to talk to the man, talk to him right now. <laughs> Don't get on your Facebook posting about oh, what a nigga did in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a fucking trial from 10 years ago. We don't want to hear none of that. Get on the phone right now. All right. 850. I'm coming to, I'm, I'm coming to get 850. I'm coming to get to you the real, because that's my homeboy. It's, it's 850 in the building. What up? Who this? 850 591. Who this? Who this? Hey, this Nature Boy Rap Brown. What's going on? I'm calling to salute my homeboy for the grind, the power move he's doing, that whole project he's doing. You know what I'm saying? I respect the grind, and it's just history in the making, though. So I salute that. You know what I'm saying? I've never seen a grind like that. So I just wanted to salute my bro on the outways and let him know that I got your back 100%, bro. You keep doing your thing, bro. God will be pitching. I got your back. The whole city stay behind you worldwide. Let's do it. Hey. I appreciate that rap. You already know what it is. Hey. You know is. And uh, so, uh, so, so, hey. listen, hold on. Hey, I, got a, I got a question for you, too, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got a well, question for you. When can we spend? I know this one's going to just drop, drop, and you just dropped this one yesterday. But when is the next one going to drop? Because I'm, I'm still fiending for some more. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hair. Yeah, you know look, I'm going to die yet. <laughs> hey, I already know I'm still waiting on this bro, man. Salute one time. It's all good. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Hey, and uh, Rap Brown, uh, you are the Rap Brown on, on yeah. track number seven. Rap Brown speaks, right? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, 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 that's right. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. We're gonna come up to that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna run. We're gonna play every track on this damn CD. So you're gonna be, <laughs> we're gonna play your little, we're gonna play the skit too and everything. Give me a second. Oh, we're gonna man. get to hey, that. That's what it's uh, all right, that's, hey, that's such an honor. Absolutely, bro. Thank you for calling in the K One Radio. I appreciate it. All right. One hundred. Yeah. One hundred. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, the skit is funny. When he was talking, I was like, <laughs> he, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Man. All right, we are gonna play that too. We are gonna go to the that next song, funny. blood. He's funny as hell. Yeah, we are gonna go to the next one. All the time. Uh, straight off the boat. Straight off the boat. This was actually one of the singles yeah. that you dropped off the project. Tell us about this. Produced by yeah, this uh, Greedy Money and DJ Swift. Go ahead. Yeah, man, Swift, 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 my main man, man, Swift, my own boy, out of Tampa, man. Listen, Swift, Swift got beats on everybody project right now, man. Like Swift is the is the next go to guy, like for real, for real. Like he's the next guy that's gonna blow up, and 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 you gonna hear him everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Greedy Money out of Memphis, um, Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? He done did tracks with Yo Gotti, uh, Zed Zilla, all that whole camp. You know what I'm saying? Boosie, a lot of people, but uh. Uh, straight off the boat, man. Basically, man, just uh, you know, man, uh, we can't do a whole lot of talking about that, but you know, it, it, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we don't want to repeat, now, do we? Ain't no middle man. Ain't no middle man, man. You don't want to repeat. We don't want to repeat of past situations, <laughs> of past situations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get into oh, it. Man. Straight out hey. the boat. Straight out the boat. Produced by Greedy yeah. and uh, DJ. Produced by Greedy and DJ Swift. K100 hey, Radio. Let's get it. DJ Win. DJ Win. I got it straight out the mud. I told my niggas I need it. 
flare with that paper, them shooters coming. Ah. And all of my niggas squeezing. I got no love for a fuck nigga. I only fuck with the real bitches. Told my dog that I'm in the kitchen. Hit me later, I'm on the stove with me. I've been low key, got these niggas tripping. I be on point, ain't never slipping. Slow to speak, cause I'm folks listening. Trying to get it, that's the only mission. I told them niggas I'd get it for them. Boy, you know a nigga plugged in. I got a call from a Haitian brother. Boy, you know a nigga plugged in. I get it straight off the book. I get it straight off the book. What up, though? K100 Radio, I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show. 347-934-0966. If you don't remember the number, look at the top. It's going to scroll by. Real fly light. <laughs> what up, though, man? My homie Blood Raw is on the line, man. We live right now for a project review. And uh, I like Straight Up The Boat. Yeah. I like, I like, these are all the songs that I like. I like these songs by Blood. Because this is vintage Blood Raw. Yeah. This is Blood Raw. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is... This is you, you, you don't stay where I stay, nigga. Blood Raw. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. This is, this is, this is Bay Harbor. This is Trap Boy Blood Raw. You know what I'm saying? God damn it, up in the tool and spazzing out in the safari parking lot, Blood Raw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this is, uh, this is Blood Raw. But in a minute, we're going to get to Bruce Faust. Yeah. We're going to get to Bruce in a minute. Oh, man. And I fuck with Bruce the long way. We're going to talk to Bruce in a minute, though. Just pause, just hold on. You just be easy, just chill. We're going to talk to Bruce in a minute. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, man. And I fuck with Bruce <laughs> on the mic the long way. That real? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? I understand the dichotomy of what you're doing because you got Blizzard and you got Cyril and you got Blue. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And uh, right, right. the dichotomy of what that brings and what that presents to a person. You know, people are people are are complicated. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no one side right. to a person. So when you're an artist and you paint this picture on this canvas, you feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? If you got one dimension right. all the way through the picture, that means you just you just simple. You a basic person. You got to be more complex than that. Yeah, you know, you, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. And speaking of, of that, let's jump into some complex shit. <laughs> Track number six, which is, of course, this is this is this gonna this gonna be Bruce, this is gonna be Bruce talking to y'all. This this is Bruce talking. That's real. On, 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 on getaway. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Am I am I right or wrong? Are we talking to Bruce right now? Of course. A blood raw. Of this course. is Bruce, right? Of course. Okay. I want to make yeah, sure I was clear, because I'm pretty sure this is Bruce. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> uh, on getaway. Tell him. You know, yeah. At the end of the day, at, at, let me tell you. Let me explain. It's, 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 this type of music that, that we're going to hear right now is, is the music that I wish I could do all the time. Right. But unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have to do the other music because I won't get no show money. I won't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people are, people people don't want to hear the real all the time because it's too deep, and people don't want to be reminded of their struggle, of their pain, of the bad times. They just want to party and get money, and you know what I'm saying. But 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 the pain and the struggle—that's what makes us who we are. You feel me? Right. But don't nobody want to talk about that side. Don't nobody want to talk about that side because they want to overlook it. They don't want they don't want they don't want to be reminded of me coming from there. You know what I'm saying? But it's something that we need, especially in music, because we're gonna we gonna what we're gonna do is is that we're gonna we're gonna misguide our kids, 
We're going to give them a false sense of hope. We're going to give them a false reality of life. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to give them the bullshit, which is what's going on in the industry right now. Like, right. It, it, it's no difference than all you hear is, if you see on TV is the tight jeans and, you know, <laughs> uh, men, uh. you know, acting like women and all that shit. You giving them, you giving them bullshit. It's not enough real shit for them to get it and understand that that ain't what you do. That's not what you do, but you know what I'm saying. But it's, the question the is, industry is okay with that because they rather us like that. How do you balance it, blood? The, this this is the question for artists like you and other and any other artists who right. who really do have a wide range of dynamics that that can go to. I just want, I had to cut it. Every time you start getting deep, I, t- I pause the music. I'll be like, we'll make sure we get this part clear. For sure. I bring the music back. We're going to talk a little bit. For now. sure. When you start getting deep, y'all, I'm going to pause the music. When we start talking to Pastor Bruce, I'm going to pause the music. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to goddamn <laughs> Trap Boy Blood in a minute. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but listen. <laughs> no, but seriously, though. Seriously. Um, yeah. Because uh, I think out of my career as an artist, you know what I'm saying? I, I, can, I, can, I, can have, I can admittedly say that I gave them probably too much of the shit they needed to hear and much, much, much less of the shit they probably wanted to hear, which has definitely helped me stagnant, especially being a Southern artist. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, right, but, 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 right, but, right. but the, but that was just the decision that I made as an artist. You know what I'm saying? As a person, as it's an artist. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, exactly. it's, it's right. But you, you've, you've been able to balance it and you've been able to get the streets and pull the streets into the message, which is, I think people don't understand why right. I really fuck with you because I fuck with the core message of what you're saying. I know, a lot about you, right. and I've, I've hung around you. I've had personal conversations with you. So beyond what everybody know yeah. about your struggles of being, you know, your mother dying early, and you know what I'm saying, and you really going to prison yeah. early and being right. in the system and all this, people know that by just being a fan. Yeah. But but I having a personal right. conversation with you, they just know that stuff because you put it out there. But right. being able to make yeah. that balance work, being able to keep that balance intact and walk the line of being street but still being inspirational at the same time, is where I really, really, really give you uh, probably most slept on artist ever. Definitely out of the state. Definitely right. out of the South. Right. Uh, the message that you've carried right. from day one has always been lost in everything. Right. In the politics of the business and everything right. else. You know, in the imagery and everything else. Uh, so, so I'm always glad when you put these on the projects because I can say I listen to the projects. And some people, you're, you're not the only artist now. You ain't the only artist who right. put out street music. And everybody think it's all about street music and they never listen to the whole project and get those jewels. But at some point, right, right. I just, I just, I, let me tell you, and I like Straight Up the Boat. Straight Up the Boat is indicative, yeah. is indicative of a blood roll. I like, I like, I, I fuck with the project and I don't, it, there's not one song that I don't like. There's, right. there's just songs that I really right. love more than others on the project. You feel me? Right, of course. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, because, I, because yeah. I understand who you are. But, right. You have these records, blood. That I've always yeah. felt. All right. the, e- e- even if we're talking about the album that came out on CTE, you know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah. the single, which I would if I, if I was the A and R, if I was the guy at at Def Jam, if I was the guy at CTE, the song with Life Jennings would have been the single. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me? Right like the song, you, you, you know what I'm right, I, I, right, right, right. Honest, like those are the records that I feel like just put a stamp on your career. And your legacy, but but why why do you feel like as an artist you 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 just told me why you won't eat, but do you really think that if you went to that artist and really put that in the forefront that you will lose? Serious question. Do you think well, you will lose? I'm gonna tell you this. I'm a, yeah, no, I, I don't I don't think I'm gonna lose, but it's, it's it's levels of how you have to get there. You know what I'm saying? And it's basically on your structure and your team of of, of of the level that you're trying to go to. But with those type of records, you have to have a, a, a major, major support system. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? We already know we already know how hard it is to get on radio as it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's got to it's gotta always be that one A&R that believes in you enough to make a sacrifice. To say that that's going to be what we sell to the audience. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, most a rs they want you to club, 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 because that's what they think they boss want. If we don't have a club record, then it ain't going to be on the radio. Right, You right. know what I'm saying? So it, it, that's the mentality of... 
a pop artist or some shit like that, then it would be different. They would have a different approach. That would be a record that they would want to bring to the masses first because they're ready to put that money into the budget of radio. Right. Whereas being a rap artist, they're not putting that type of money behind a record unless it already has legs. You know what I'm saying? And I and I like the result back to Kanye West's story all the time. Nobody believed in Kanye West as an artist. Jay-Z didn't believe in him. But what he done, because he, he had produced so many records, he already had leverage at radio. And when he shot the video to tell his story, which is through the wire, you know what I'm saying? It grew legs from the New York station alone. But it took radio for that. And then he shot the video with the support of Rockefeller. You know what I'm saying? That's how it, it, it did what it did. But, you know, it's not really too many artists other than a J. Cole or, you know, a Kendrick Lamar, but look at their support system mm-hmm. that can do that type of music. Mm-hmm. Good, good, good answer. Like, I just, I, I wanted be, you to get that. that I wanted you. To, that was the answer. A third single. Right, right. Well, well, you know, listen. It, 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 that was the answer, blood. That yeah. listen because you gave a real right. industry answer and you gave a real, a real life answer to the to the question because I know several people, not just me, who right. love Pastor Bruce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And, right. and, and be like, and, and be like, blood raw is like, yeah, I fuck with him, but nigga, I fuck with that shit right there. That shit hit your soul. Yeah, that's you real. feel what I'm saying? And I, 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 I've yeah. just always felt like, I'm, I'm listen to me. You know me. I'm here to support all yeah. of you, but you I'm probably, definitely. You listen. Yeah. I already. I'm gonna tell you. You already know. You already know what I'm gonna do. You already gave me the single. I know what the single yeah. is. But you know, in a minute, I'm gonna fucking play what the fuck I want to play by blood raw. I already know. That's because I'm the fucking boss <laughs> at this motherfucking platform. At this yeah. fucking radio station, bitch, I'm That's boss. Real. So I'm going to put that for, I'm going to put that that Blood Raw on display too. With the Blood Raw that you want me to put on display. But I'm going to put the Blood yeah. Raw on display because I'm the boss over here. And, and, and I understand what you're saying because program directors and everybody who run these platforms and everybody, you feel me? We just at a point right now in rap where they just so, they so one dimensional that you just got to, kind of sort yeah. of play ball in order to get the long win but let, let's let's hope everything that That's works real. out let's hope everything that works out at epic uh allows you to put forth that right. because i think that i think that blood raw can eat for 30 right. fucking years you feel me i think of that course. blood raw can eat for 30 can that, eat 20 years from now you feel what i'm saying and, and the whole thing is yeah the whole thing is is, is is getting the right person which in this case you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's crazy for me to even think this, but to get a person like L.A. Reid, the godfather, you know what I'm saying, of, of the music industry, to believe in your story. Like, my story, they put a wool over my story, but he's always loved my story because he knows it's real, and it don't happen every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in order for me to tell my story, I have to do that type of music. You know what I'm saying? And, and the music is needed. So you just need somebody to believe in that part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, 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 and everything else will really work itself out because if you paint the right picture, man, then, you know, it's no different than Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you love you love his his his, his, his thug record. You know what I'm saying? But right. the women, they love they love him for something else. Right. You know what I'm saying? They right. love, you know, they love him for his, uh, how I said, um, his artistry. You know what I'm saying? Of being able to be versatile and open and you know what I'm saying? To tell, talk about his pain and his mama and real shit. You feel me? Right. Exactly. Exactly. I got a call on the line real quick. Hold on. Uh, area code 404-438. What up? Who this? What's happening, man? This is Young School. Oh, Young School. What's going on, bro? What up, boy? What's happening with you, man? Hello? What up, though? You can hear me? Yeah, we hear you. What's going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. I'm just cooling, man. You know, I had to call in and support Big Dog, man. To the death of me. Everybody need to go grab that. That's real. That's real. Hey, man. Shout yeah, out to yeah, the team. Yeah, but I'm tuned in, though. I'm, at, I, I, I'm tuned in listening, though. All right. That's what's up, man. Appreciate you calling in, man. And shout out to you, man. Make sure every, uh, make sure everybody's watching on Facebook Live. Know who you is real quick. Tell them who you is, on me real quick. Uh, man, I'm Young School, Team BRE, you know what I'm saying, promoted for Blood Raw. You can find me on the internet everywhere. That's real. Make sure you check him out. He be going hard for you, Blood. You got one on your team. You got you got one on your team that believe in you uh, ten toes down right there because he, he will flood, he will flood listen, you with it. Man, my team, my, <laughs> team, 
my team the realest, man. <laughs> my team the realest, man. They go hard, man, and I, and I appreciate them, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, sometimes I could be sleep, man, or give a, a shutout, man, and them folks, they work for, man. My, 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 my team, my raw babies, uh, everybody who supports Blue Raw, man, I swear to you, like, for real, for real, they go hard, man, for real, and I, and I just want to thank them, you know what I'm saying, um, which, you know, me and my people, man, we have a we have a, a talk on the phone and, and, and through text messages and all that. Like we, we really interact with we, with each other. So it ain't no just no what you doing on the internet for me or being a you know, a support system and I don't never, you know, indulge in your personal life like it's a whole nother ball game. It's more like family over here. Absolutely. Let's jump to the next song, which is one of my top picks. Over here right now, K one hundred radio. <laughs> One of my top picks. I ain't gonna lie, you know. I, again, again, there's there's oh, yeah. there's Blood Raw, and there's Pastor Bruce, and they both are Blood Raw. When Blood <laughs> Raw start talking to you, you have to start listening. You know what I'm saying? And so this this is, but this oh, is man. get away. You know what I'm saying? We only on track six. We're one. We uh, let me see. We got. We're halfway through. We we at nine o'clock. We halfway through. Yeah. This is a two hour segment schedule. Yeah, we good. Up. We halfway through. All right. Uh, I'm gonna play this. And then I'm gonna play the rap brown. I'm gonna let the rap. I'm gonna play the. Well, no, I'm gonna do rap brown into the next track, to the death of me. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it that way. We'll play. We'll play getaway. Uh, produced by the chemist. Who is it? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Stop. 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 Who is the chemist? I ain't never. You got tracks from him before. Well, the, chem, the, the, chem, the chemist. Um, um, is actually with the group they were signed to DJ Khaled. Um, they out of Detroit. Well, out of uh Flint, Michigan. Um. My main man, Kazilla, he's actually uh, living in Atlanta now. Okay. But he was he's the main producer on there. Uh, you know, them boys got that heat, man. They done did a lot of stuff with DJ Khaled. Um, you know, but they Michigan. They they from Michigan, straight out of Detroit, All right. Michigan, you know what I'm saying, which is like my second home. So we've been rocking for a minute. Shout out to Flint, Michigan on that big win, being able to sue the fucking government and the fucking governor for that bullshit. They yeah. won that. Big ups to those That's lawyers real. who made that happen. I hope the I hope the people and not the lawyers get to the money, all that shit they did, dropping property you know value like? and basically poisoning people. Big ups to them on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah so this is getaway. This now this is this is my person. Of course, so far I like all the tracks. My personal review. I like all the tracks. This yeah. is a track I love. I'm gonna point to the tracks I yeah. love. But okay. I like I like I, I I actually like straight off the boat, and I and I like fuck with me. Yeah. And you got another. And you got another yeah. blood. You got two blood raw tracks that I really fuck with on here. Though I'm gonna tell you in a minute. You got two blood raw, not past the Bruce's. You got two blood raw tracks on here that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? No real shit. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna get when, when, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do it. It's a blood raw track, but I fuck with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I fuck oh, with man. it. I get it. I get. I get. I, I see what you did there, nigga. I see what you did there. All right, get yeah. away. Get away part two. Let's check this one out. Blood Raw, a project with you to the death of me. K100 Radio, we live right now. I'm your host, Blizzum. 347-934-0966. You can't remember that? Look at the top right there. There you go. 347-934. Right there. 347-934-0966. I got to get used to that fancy-ass scrolling shit. Let's get it. K100 Radio. And you want to say fuck that just like you said fuck that back then? So I come now that I'm 20 years old ready to start Everybody tell me to calm down. You know, don't curse, go to school, go to college. Well, fuck that. You know, we had colleges for a while now. You know what I'm saying? And it's still trapped. You know what I'm saying? And niggas get you. I'm saying out the way, because niggas get jammed. They're trying to trip me out the streets, but I don't know, fam. I've been fucking with the rap, but these niggas flow. And it's worse than in the streets, because these niggas flow. And these niggas want the fame, trying to get the money. And these niggas want to hang, you don't want nothing.
K100 Radio, we live. This is the Facebook Live exclusive from K100 Radio. What's going on, man? What's happening, yeah. everybody? Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, man. I got my homie Blood Raw on the phone line right now, man. We live doing a project review of To the Death of Me, his new project that's coming out, man. 850 in the building, man. Shout out to all the Panama City people checking in, man. What's going on, man? DJ Obens, what up, man? T Knight, what up? Uh, Ke- oh, Kelby, my homie Kelby from Making It Magazine is over here checking in. What's going on, Kelby? Salute, bro. Oh, man. Kelby, I did need that extra camera angle. I had to stun on these nicks. But you ain't even seen nothing yet, though, Kelby. <laughs> Tighten up, Kelby. We ho, yo, yo. We, we just getting started over here. You know what I'm talking about, man? Shout out to my homie Next God is in the building, man. Uh, oh, Marcus Rosier, man. Babe, what's going on, bro? Look, bro, man. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, man? Everybody Mark, checking in. Yeah. A lot of people checking in, blood. A lot of 850. A lot of our, a lot of our people checking in, man. Checking this out on Facebook Live, bro. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful yeah, man, thing. I, I, I'm trying to tell you, bro, like it was, it, matter of fact, I was at the crib yesterday, man, like just putting CDs out, man, and it's just like, it's a whole new breath of fresh air that I felt like, you know what I'm saying, like the love was, was, was back how it used to be, you know what I'm saying, I'm not saying that I never, I never got love from my hometown, but like you could see the excitement, you know, like when, 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 when I first, you know what I'm saying, got my deal with CT, like the excitement is back, is back restored, like people rooting again, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, my career has kind of been like a, a, a rocky road because of the, 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 the bad, you know, relationships or whatever, meaning that people who didn't do what they're supposed to do, you know what I'm saying, uh, it kind of stagnated my, my career, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, the guy that you see in high school that you root for, you know that he could go to the league, but something happened and he don't make it, so it kind of like kill your spirit right? as a fan. Right. You know exactly, what I'm and that's what I think that uh, it, it happened because I got I got I got homies all over the world that you know I could just tell the difference of the disappointment that man you supposed to be here and 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 and, and for you not being there then it's kind of like they lose hope or they lose you know they 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 they, they kind of get discouraged you know what I'm saying and yeah. I could just see the motivation this time again you know and it, it, it made me real proud man. Listen, man, let me let me let me just. <laughs> Cause I gotta, I gotta get to the music. So you made me, you, you almost triggered a fucking rant. You, 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 you like one. You almost triggered a true fucking rant from me, bro. And I'm not, I'm trying. This is about you. It's not about what the fuck. It's not about Blizzard tonight. It's not about me. It's about yeah. you. You almost triggered. You, are, I was, I was about to go into a long rant, but I just checked myself. <laughs> Let me just say, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel what you're saying. Sure. And and the motivation should have never left, based on. Body of work, right. based on body of work and based on the facts. Right. Point blank, period. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. The, the facts and the body of work right. should have never, Cat, Cat should have never did that. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And you've, you've, you've always had, right. you've always had much more love from the streets than I ever did from home. You feel what I'm saying? Because of, because of right. just your, your time in the streets, what you did while you was really in the streets was uh, another level of what I never, I did my time in the streets, but not, not to the level of what you guys really was down there putting in that crazy work, you know what I'm saying? I never got into that. Right. I moved, right, right. I left, you know what I'm saying? Sure. And started doing other shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I feel like right. based on that, based on the music itself, just the fucking music, nigga. Not even talking about if you even personally know this nigga. Just the music. You know what I'm right. saying? Whether you love Blood Raw or Pastor Bruce, right. just the music. You feel me? And just the fact that the grind is real <laughs> and how many other motherfuckers have done that much and got that far. It should have never fell off. But anyway, right. that's all I'm going to say about that. Right. Moving on. Because <laughs> I was about to go into a rant, but I'm not with you niggas today. I I'm know not. you were. You know what I'm saying? I know you were. <laughs> you know what? But, but, but I ain't even cutting you off, but let me tell you something, man. I I, I think I, I I really became like, I don't even get into all that no more, man. I don't, I don't try to make convince nobody or or none of that. Like, I, it is what it is with me. I think... Oh, JB from Ozone told me a long time ago. She said that 
you could be a star, but the only the only reason that I think that'll hinder you is that you're not arrogant. You're too laid back. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it, it's kind of crazy because when you think about the people that's really like me, most of them arrogant. You hear them stories all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel I feel that it's the God in me. Like, you know what I'm saying? That right. I ain't got to do all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, that's not my personality. Like, I'm a humble dude, man. And I just really want everybody to win. And if I got any information to get it from somebody, I'm going to do it. Like, I ain't going to never hold back no information or stop nobody from trying to eat or none of that. Like, I'm going to try to help you get some money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But unfortunately, we don't run across some people every day. Yeah, you're right. We don't. I, and before I just go off into a tangent, let's go to the next song. <laughs> Before you before you trigger a tangent, blood, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's go into the next song. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna let uh, Rap Brown shout out to Rap Brown. He called into the show, and you can call into the show. Yeah. Yo, if you got a question where you want to hear for blood, especially if especially if you if you from the crib, man, like this is your chance. Like, yo, I see I see everybody on Facebook Live, but it's like a little bit different when you call in. Y'all can see I'm trying to push the call right. in back in Facebook Live and just killed my call in. <laughs> my call in is like, oh, we can talk, we can text now. Fuck it, nigga, fuck that phone, nigga. Let me. The, the phone oh, lines man. have suffered, man. But anyway, uh, rap, we gonna play the Rap Browns, uh, the skit, and I was laughing at it when you, because when I actually when he called in, I I immediately knew who he was from his voice. He's got a he's knew got one, yeah, you knew the voice. right. Like yeah. there, there's one other person on this planet that I know that sound like him, and I was like, I, at first I thought that you had like uh you had my homie Raspy on there. I was like, is that my homie? But you, it was somebody else. But they they got a similar voice. I was like, that yeah. voice is so distinctive. Uh, and then we are gonna jump into right. uh the, the the title track, which is to the death of me. Uh, featuring Mo Wet, uh, produced right. by Swift and Midi yeah. Mob. So go ahead and tell me about that because we're going to let the Rap Brown skit play, then we're going to jump right into the Death of Me. Go ahead, tell me about uh, Death of Me. Right. Well, to the Death of Me, basically, like I told you in the beginning of the show, you know what I'm saying? Blood Rock going to be who I am. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know, uh, I'm just going to be a real dude, man. Like, you know, I ain't going to change for nobody. Um, and I ain't going to, you know, I ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to condone no sucker shit. Like, it, it, it's, it's right or wrong with me. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to say too much. You know, uh, I'm going to speak facts. And, and that's what it is. I ain't going to try to, you know, uh, uh, make nobody be a believer or none of that. Like, I, I just always believe in my music. And I believe my music speak volumes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep it real to the death of me. Like, you know, um, me and my man Moet, who's singing on, this, on, the, on, on the track, you know what I'm saying, which is my personal partner, man, out of Polk County. Uh, you know, he's a very talented dude, man, and he's done a lot of work for a lot of people. Um, you know, he actually was a part of the group Pretty Ricky when Pleasure P first left. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he, he, he definitely made his mark a little bit in the game, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we do a lot of good music, man. We get in the studio and we just we just knock out work, you know what I'm saying? And that's just really kind of the people that I, su- I surround myself with. Absolutely, absolutely. And again, DJ Swift, again, this DJ Swift, man, that's my, that's my go-to guy. Hey, he 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 working with something. And this is this blood. This is one of my borderline blood meets Pastor Bruce, and they in the pool pit talking, and I love it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you walk in the line on this one, but I, but but this is Definitely. this is a great title track, bro. This is a great the, the, the title track. Right. I'm always I always hate when the title right. track sucks. I hate when the title track sucks, bro. Yeah, man. But the title track is actually yeah, dope. I'm it's, a big advocate. I'm yeah. a big advocate, man, of of. of Sticking to them titles yeah. and the story surrounding the title, you feel right. me? So, you know, right. that's another story. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, yeah, but I, but I, but this but this is one of, this is one of my actually top five on the, on on the project. Which is, it's to the death of me. You know what I'm saying? And it's the title track. So For let's sure. jump into it. We're gonna hear Rap Brown right. speak, and then we're gonna jump into the death of me, and then we'll be right back. This is live K100 Radio, man. Oh, I see the big homie on the phone line. We're gonna talk to him in a minute. Wait, what's going on, man? For sure. In a minute, after we come after this yeah. one right here. Let's get it, man. K100 Radio. I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for rocking with me right now. K100 Radio Live, an exclusive project review of To the Death of Me by my homie Blood Raw, man. A50 in the motherfucking building, man. You know what I'm talking about? Who would have thought we'd be here, nigga? But we is. Holla at him, rap, bro. Oh, man. Shit. 
DJ Win, DJ Win. Love run, talk, love run. Mow it, mow it. That's to the death of me. That's to the death of me. And I put that on everything. 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 That's to the death of me. That's to the death of me. Watch me work, bastard. That's to the death of me. Yeah, I'ma keep chasing these bitches. That's to the death of me. Yeah, I'ma keep fucking these bitches. Hey, that's to the death of me. Yeah, I'ma stay strong with these bitches. That's to the death of me. Understood, that just what it is. No type of way, I don't fuck with lanes. Yes. Not the same, that just what it is. Uh-uh. You ain't need from the projects, no. you ain't from the hood, that just what it is. Uh-uh. If one eat, then we all eat. Without a question, that just what it is. Real ass nigga to the death of me. Never let the streets get the best of me. Your dog doing bad, got a blast on me. Fuck nigga, yeah, I got a check on me. Plug key call, got a meet. Me around flop niggas, fucked around when it got a sack, and I waited up, then I got a bag. I'm a real nigga to the death of me, so fuck nigga, you ain't gotta ask. I'm gonna stay real with my nephew, that's to the death of me. Yeah, I'm gonna keep chasing these bitches, that's to the death of me. DJ Wayne, DJ Wayne, that's to the death of me. Yeah, I'm gonna stay strong with these bitches, that's to the death of me. I put that on everything, I put that on everything. We're back. <laughs> Woo! That's till the death yeah. of me. Blood raw. And I put that on everything. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a that's a that's a, that's a great title track, bro. I fuck with that one. That was that was like a, a good title track. Like sometimes title tracks be like one of the weakest joints on the project. I be like, bro, how the title track? Right. Some bullshit, bro. It's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that's yeah, right. that's a good combination of yeah. that's a good combination of blood and Pastor Bruce. I like that one right there. You know what I'm saying? It's one of my top five on the project. <laughs> To the death of me right now. Uh, That's real. Let's That's pause real. for a second. We've got an integral part of the team on the line right now, man. You feel me? I got to bring the OG right. in the building, man. You feel me? Hey, C. Wakely is on the phone Yo. line. What's going on, big homie? <laughs> listen, man. Listen to me, man. What's happening with you? You know I'm here with you all the way, man. What's going on? Man, what's going on? Um, Welcome, everybody, man. Now, if you don't know who C. Wakely is, first of all, if you're an artist and you're trying to get on, you're trying to do some work, and you're trying to really make some moves in Florida, South Georgia, Georgia, really the Southeast, you definitely need to pause for a second, pump your brakes, <laughs> pay attention to who we're talking to, and if he's if he give out his contact information, you need to make sure you go back and, and bump this goddamn uh, recording back a little bit and hit that again and holler back. This is the homie uh, C. Wakely, man, you feel me? Uh, uh, this is uh, somebody who's been uh, a part of Blood Raw's uh, uh, ascension, you know what I'm saying, in several different aspects, man, and... Uh, I definitely want to bring him on the phone line, man. You know what I'm saying? I know they go way back. Only they can tell you about the dynamics of their relationship, uh, but it would be uh, just, it's got to be fitting that he's actually 
uh, able to come on the phone line right now and talk to us right now while we're doing this live project premiere for Blood Raw's latest project, uh, which is uh, to the death of me, man. So, C. Wake, what's going on, brother? Well, first of all, Blizzard, let me tell you, I, I, I appreciate you, man. I love what you're doing for the independent artists, for the underground movement, and you're doing it sincerely. You know, you're doing it from your heart, man, because you want to see some young brothers get on and get them out the streets. Uh, I, I thank you for having me on last time. A few months ago, me and Ian Burke, and I forgot who else we had on um, at the time, but it's always a pleasure. But, you know, I'm always honored to speak on behalf of Blood Raw, man. Blood Raw is a phenomenal artist, man. I mean, you know, it's like, you know, it's like his words is, is, is like the Bible. It's going to touch you. You know, you, if you, you know, let's just forget about the music for a minute. Let's just take it. Let's just snatch the production away. Mm-hmm. And let's just listen to what Blood Raw say a cappella. And if a man can listen to that and he don't feel it in his heart, then you're probably not a man. You feel me? Exactly. So my thing is I love what Blood brings to the game, you know, the music, but it's not just the music. I think Blood, when we think about how we got our situation back with Death Jam back in 05, when we think about that situation, it was because we was in the streets and Blood was preaching in the streets. Blair was literally preach, preaching in the street. He was saying stuff that other rappers didn't want to talk about because he was pouring his heart out on the table, and there's nothing that's changed. A lot of things have changed in this rap game, but Blair Raw never changed. And when you're doing something that's genuine, man, it's going to stick. And, I'm, and when we got brothers like you that, ref, that refuse to close the Bible, that refuse to close the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Right. On a guy like Blair who preaching the Bible, we're going to get somewhere, my nigga. You feel me? Absolutely, man. I, I, I again, I, I'm thankful for uh, the support that you guys have given me. You know, you, you've given me some support and help and help expand the brand uh, through your network. And I, I'm humbled by it, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you guys have been working a lot longer than I have as far as just being on the backside of the industry. You know, I was I was I was on the artist side for such a long time. And when um, I got into the backside of the industry, I was I was accepted with open arms by people like you. And it made my transition. Uh, pretty fucking smooth. You know what I'm saying? I gotta say, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Having guys like you. See, let me tell you what's happening. Blizzard. Let me tell you what's happening. You know, because you know I'm a spiritual dude. And let me tell you what's happening. I want you to mark my words as call it, okay? What's happening now is that a bunch of real niggas are linking up. See, they've been talking about real niggas linking up. But you'll watch the next 10 days, 15 days, 30 days, 60 days. And you'll see more and more real niggas linking up with the Blood Raw movement. Me and Blood have been doing this since 2002. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't no doubt about it. We've been doing it since 2002. And, and we are you know, three years, we had our situation through Dev Jam. You feel me? And so we got that on the ground. We, we motivated a whole state, a whole state of Florida didn't have nothing popping at the time. We always go salute Trick because Trick is the man. But what I'm saying, we didn't have nothing happening in the underground. Nobody didn't feel like they can get a deal. But we went and got it. We got it with a limited budget, too. Now, we, we used our money we, very little that we came up with. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to pull blood out of the streets. I remember that. So now we deal with a limited budget, and we go get the deal. And the whole Florida saying, you know what? Y'all niggas just proved to us that it can't be done. So we motivated a generation of rappers. So now that's the first thing. The second thing is this here that you have to understand. It's been niggas like you that been around with us forever. And it's a nigga that ain't. But let's get the story straight now. Let's get the story straight. Blood Raw, all right? Now, we, let's talk about the artist. Let's talk about mm-hmm. a nigga that grew up rough. Let's talk about a nigga that lost his mama to a drug overdose at a young age. Let's talk about a nigga that got taken advantage of in the system to go into boys' home in the detention center before he was teenage. Let's talk about a nigga that catch his first charge at 16 and go to prison when he shouldn't have went. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how the system jammed and jammed this nigga and this nigga fell in love with his music to get him through. Let's talk about two indictments, nigga, you know, in 2000. 2005, two indictments, why we got a deal that he pulled through and how he saluted to the street. And the street embraced him when 10 niggas got on the stand and said he that nigga that supplied us with the cocaine. We fought through all of that, and we still here. So niggas that 10 or want to block us now, how these niggas going to block us now if we went through all that? You know what I'm saying? A nigga can't block us when we got when we got God that's with us, and then God provide us with niggas like you and your movement with K100 to help us get there. We're not worried about this shit. We understand it's going to be rough, but rough ain't nothing else. That's what we do. We make shit happen. You feel me? Absolutely. So I don't want to make it feel like I'm preaching blizzard. I don't want to feel like that. <laughs> but I just want a nigga to know. Well, I just want a nigga to know where we stand at, my nigga. Let them know that we certified niggas that happen. Look, we certified niggas that happen to do music. 
You know, right. we got music niggas pretend to be certified. You feel me? Exactly, exactly. Hey, 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 you won't hear no argument from me about those points. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, who am so I to you know, who am yeah, I to argue yeah, with you yeah, about that? Yeah. <laughs> who am I to argue hey, with listen, you about listen, listen, speaking real shit? Listen. Now mind, not, not me. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna say this to you, Blizzard, and I'm, I ain't gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna say this right here. <laughs> I, I, I have managed a few artists in my time. You know what I'm saying? I've been a part of some good situations. Salute, much love to my boy One Lee, locked up in federal prison doing life sentence. But let me say this right here: I done fought with some pretty good artists, but I never. Worked at the magnitude where I was a promoter. I was a record promoter. Right. I was a motherfucking role manager. I was a role manager. I was a personal manager. I was a liaison with the baby mamas. I was a motherfucker that landed the lawyer when we got to go fight. I, I was landing the lawyer when we got to go fight the DEA. In case you niggas don't know what DEA, drug and the drugs enforcement agency. Right. I, I'm the nigga with all that. I, me and blood been together through all this. So no matter what I've given in my 15 years, I've given him more than I gave any artist. And I gladly say that with no complaint. So I'm just happy to see him making this move that we're making now to get back in the seat. And this is niggas that want to eat off our plate. I'll play this right there. Blizzard, right now, my nigga, if everything happened and it blew big, you go. So whatever you gonna do with K one hundred? Hey, you right. You ride. <laughs> we go. You feel me? We you ride. We go. We go. We go. Bust and clear that shit. <laughs> 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 so, you know, we with you, my nigga. You feel me? I appreciate it, man. Yo, that's uh, that's the big homie C Wake, man. And uh, you know, he just listed his credentials. If you don't mind, if uh, I know you got everything, and I know you're busy with blood, but just let everybody let everybody know what else you got going on. If you got anything coming up, uh, you know, any kind of conferences, or anything, you know what I'm saying? Anything you got going on, bro, go ahead and, and real quick, let them know if you got something coming on. I know you're working Blood's well, project well, well, right now. Look, we got the Gainesville Music Summit coming back in March. I'm going release, to release the date later, but the Gainesville Music Summit is designed for independent artists and producers and entertainers are trying to do their thing. We're going to do it in March, man. And also, man, Blood Rock got a situation working with a guy out of Miami, Florida, named Drive 1000. It's coming in. Yeah. Back to what I'm talking about. Real niggas linking up our boy Drive 1000 because you're on that same street real shit like Blood is. We're working on that. Right now, that's all we were fucking with to the maximum. It's a couple things in the wayside, but for the maximum, that's what we're doing, man. It's, right now, it's just Blood Rock Entertainment, my nigga. Absolutely, that's man. Real. Big, 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 big shout out to C-Wake, man, for calling in, taking the time, pausing out his busy day. To call in and hey. rock with us right now, man. Go ahead, blood. Hey, we, we, that, 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 that ran up a check to us coming to a city near you, too. Give him the number, oh. wait. Hey, listen, you ran up the check to us coming. We're going to work Florida, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina. All the promoters, if y'all want to do business, call me. I'm easy to work with. 352 682 2040. Call me up so I can work something out with you. We're going to eat so we ain't for free. Understand that. But we're going to work with you so we all can get money and leave the club with money in both our pockets that night. So call me up. Absolutely, man. Y'all make it happen. You dig? Let's get back into the music. K100 Radio. See, <laughs> wake took time to check in, man. I appreciate it. We're, now, let, let's jump back into the music, blood. Right now, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the next track, which is uh, Stay Away. Tell us about this one, homie. Now, I, that's just my motto right now, man. I ain't got time being around no fuck niggas. No, I ain't, I ain't around no bullshit at all. Like, I ain't got time for none of that, my nigga. I don't want no bad vibes or none of that shit. You feel me? Like, if I feel like you got some bullshit going on, I just got to stay away. Like, that's, I mean, I'm in my circle, and, and I'm fucking with my niggas, and that's what we doing. Stay away from me, hater, man. Absolutely. Let's check this one out. Track a, number nine. Whether it's a nigga or a female. Or whether female. Whether it's a nigga or a female, we got to stay away or a female, and they cause more problems than yeah. you niggas really realize in this game. Oh, Way man. more problems than they get credit for. You know what I'm talking about? Track number nine, Stay Away, produced yeah. again by DJ Swift. Uh, to the death of me, Blood Raw, project review. <laughs> my assessment on this one is I like it. I really love that getaway, though. And my and my joint's coming up in a minute, though. I like this one, too, though. It's cool. But I like oh, I, But my joint's coming up in a minute, though. Stay Away. Check it out. <laughs> To the death of me. To the death of me, I'ma do this shit. I see y'all motherfucking bitch ass haters. See all that game y'all trying to run. But we got our own shit over here, we gon' keep this shit a thousand. It's DJ Win. And I don't see y'all haters. And we don't see y'all haters. I game tight.
bitch. Treat his ass out the streets, and she's still doing her shit. What's wrong with you? back k100 radio i'm your host listen thanks everybody for tuning in to the show you gotta stay away from them, man because niggas be talking about their killers and they ain't even killed the fly <laughs> <laughs> i heard what you did there i heard what you did there uh blood raw we live right now project with you uh right now we're chopping it up we're talking about to the death of me now a couple of you guys have uh said in, in the um uh, in the uh in the facebook live feed asking me questions about how can you get down and get one of these too well that's easy Go to, up there again, just check at the top right there, k100radio.com, the link, <laughs> k100radio.com, and go over to the ads and promo page tab. It says Project Preview, uh, Project Premiere. Uh, that's basically this. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, just different words, but it's basically the same exact package, uh, but we just incorporated Facebook Live into the whole situation now. And we're not going to change anything about that package. We're just going to do the same thing, same everything, except it's going to be on Facebook Live now. So, uh, everybody who was asking me in the Facebook live feed about this, go over there, go to k one radiocom go to ads and promo, and check out Project Premiere Preview. And that's basically what we're doing right now. If you have any questions about how you can get one of these specialized track-by-track breakdowns like my homie Blood Raw is getting right here right now. All right, to the next track. Yeah. Check on me. Produced by Sherm Beats. Tell me about this one, Blood. Yeah. Man, check on me. Basically, like, you know, like I said, man, I ain't no big bragger. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if, if anybody, especially from my hometown, know me, like, they know I've always been, you know, ahead of my time when it comes to cars and, and, and jewelry and, you know, and all that type of shit. But you feel me? Like, that's just, it's just one of my moments of reminding niggas, like, you know, I've, I, I've been getting to it. You feel me? So, you know, yeah, I got that check on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got I that check on me. None of you niggas, man. You feel me? Like, <laughs> at all. At all. You know, so. Just, just, just so we clear, you know what I'm saying? All right. That's that's really basically what this is about, you know. Let's check it out. Check on me. Produced by Sherm B. Track number ten. To the death of me. Blood raw. Let's get it.
catch flight to the ATL. Blowing up with the bass on me. And we're back. K100 Radio. Uh, I'm your host, Blizzard. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the show. What's going on? We live right now. We're still rocking with K100 Radio's uh, uh, Blood Raw Project Preview, Project Review Project. I got it. It's, it's really called Project Premiere Preview. <laughs> but I got I changed the name for, yeah. to Project Review for this because it's the first time we've done it on Facebook Live. So I got to get used to saying that myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Actually, because I'm used to calling it something right, else. For sure. But, but, but anyway... Basically, we're listening to the Blood Raw shit and talking about it. How about that, motherfucker? That's a short version. Anyway, <laughs> K1's Radio. Oh, man. Uh, all right, so that was Check On Me, produced by Shram Beats. Uh, yeah. I mean, Sherm Beats, my bad. Uh, and we got the next one coming up, which is track 11, I Can't Do It, which is one, which is another one that I like. I like, I love, I like, I can't do it yeah. to the death of me. Right. Uh, you, I'm going to tell you my favorites. Get Away to to the death of me. I can't do it. While I'm still, basically, we starting to go in a little bit more into Pastor Bruce. He gonna go ahead and take you out of church for you ride on out from from here on out, basically. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and feed my family. You know what I'm saying? He said some trill shit. We definitely gonna make sure yeah. we uh, hear some shit on that on feed my family. You know what I'm talking about? So right now, man, What's as we as as we're listening to the project right now, man, is somebody who you say, hey man, you you give them uh, the USB or the cinnamon link, or you give them the CD blood, and right now they on track number ten. Right. What you what 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 would you right. tell them right now? They on track number ten, and we got 10, 11, 12, and thirteen, and and, and they say, right. man, what what I'm about to hear right now, man? Tell me what you finna take the people. Basically, um, be really really like I'm too far in the game. I've been doing this shit too long. You know what I'm saying to be with any type of bullshit. But 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 what I can't do it. I'm letting you know that if I can't do none of that fake shit, none of that flaw shit. These niggas fake. I mean, these niggas be hating, these hoes be fake, you feel me? So, you know, but I'm going to remind you of the shit that I done done and been through so that you know why I ain't with none of that shit. Exactly. I, I, I think a lot of people... Here. Yeah, I, I can't do it here. Listen, man, I think a lot of people don't understand. I'm going to tell you something about just where I'm at with it right now, and I'm pretty sure where you at with it in, in the space and the mind frame of where I think people who've been doing this shit well over a decade... And not just playing with it, but right. really fucking dedicating a portion of their life to it, to neglecting their kids, to really f- messing up their future right. 401k and retirements. You know what I'm saying? To really just really putting this to right. the forefront of their life. If you've been doing this over a decade, there's a space that you get into where you just can't be with none of the right. bullshit at some point. You feel what I'm saying? And it's not. And, and, and right, right. A, a lot of young people may look to you and say, man, that nigga with that that bullshit a, a, a young nigga 18 years old who just jumped to the rap game who may be from Panama City maybe say man I want to get a verse from blood because he from Panama City man. and you like look man this is rules and it's levels and it's business to this and you may do it for the love sometimes right. but also you have to understand the rules and the business and the levels to everything and I think some of the people just don't understand that after you've been doing this music shit for a better portion of your life <clears throat> you get burnt out with a lot right. of petty ass shit you know what I'm saying a lot of petty shit well let me yeah, I want to say something on that. Like, and the thing about it is, is I've learned this. It's even with with some of my niggas. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, I didn't. I I, I used to get money with or whatever. Like everybody, because I'm so down to the earth. It's a lot of people that look at me as as the homie instead of respecting. You know what I'm saying? The things I've done, the, the accomplishment accomplishments I've made. Like, you feel me? Like, if you go to a place like Texas or Detroit or Chicago, like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had some of my homeboys around when they see people from out of state, how they look at me and, and they respond to me and they can't believe it because they don't know the level of my success. Right. Because I'm the homie. You feel me? Like, like I'm so down to earth, like, people get it, they get it fucked up sometimes that I'm the homie versus, like, this is what I do for a living. Whereas, you know, a nigga from New York, and, that, and that's wrong, but a nigga from New York or, or, or Cali, 
like, nigga, that's blood wrong. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, that's that dude. You know what I'm saying? So I, I've learned that some people, especially people from the crib or some of my homies, they they have to they have to you know remind themselves sometimes that shit, nigga, like them nigga fuck with Raw for real. Like my partner, like he really like damn near celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. So you know that's 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 kind of what it be most of the time where you know I don't even really like trip because some people they really like look at me as like you know what I'm saying, man, he from the crib. Like that's that's the homie. Even if they don't know me, they be like he from the crib. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that it's not it's not. They don't respect what it is. Yeah. Um, I'm literally going through that right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, you know what? Because because Clay, because K100 Radio is much bigger than Blizzm the artist. You feel what I'm saying? Of and course. As much as more, as much work as I put in as Blizzm the artist, K100 Radio has surpassed that right. ten times, hundred times over. And now, now I see what you're saying when you say that 100. percent Because now people. Yeah who know me really don't understand the extent of what K100 Radio really is right now, and they really don't get it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and people are like, exactly. they they, yeah. they just think, because because we hang out all the time, whatever, and they don't realize just how many fucking people around the nation and world is fucking with this brand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And so they just they just that's look at real. you like, yeah, you yeah. just blizzum, that's the homie, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm like a regular dude, that's my cousin, whatever, but, bro, yeah. there's motherfuckers over here who be, Really at me like like look at me and hold me into a whole another level of este- of esteem that I'm not even quite sure I deserve. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't know if I do if I don't know if I don't. I, I'm gonna tell but you how real it is. It's crazy this that you say that. Is. Yeah. This, and this ain't this how real it is. It ain't no bullshit. And I never abuse. You know what I'm saying? Like people just be talking when they be saying they got pull or they got stripes so like you know they connected. Like it, it, this just being honest, bro. Like it's. I, if, if I made a phone call across the world, you say Texas or Connecticut or, you know, it, it, all these different places, like if I, I, it, it's niggas that never met me a day in their life. But if I made a phone call, they'll see about you. That's how, that's how influential music is for people. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you be like, when, pe- when I be hearing people be like, man, that nigga that's soft as hell, like, I'm speaking as an art, like an artist in the game. For instance, I'm just gonna use a name like Lil B, Bass God. Right. We may not like his music or none of that shit, but it's people that will kill you about him. Right. <laughs> right. Literally. Right. Literally. You know what I'm saying? So you know the influ the influence of music is so powerful, man, that people have no idea. Yeah, they don't. They really don't. All right. Let's jump into this next one. I can't do it. Produced again by DJ Swift and Minnie Mob. These guys got some definite bangers on the track. Uh, you already alluded to what it's yeah. going to be about, you know what I'm saying? But tell me real quick about what uh, I Can't Do What It's About. And we got two more after that. And we should be right about rounding it out at 10. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, basically, man, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you know, it, it, it's just I can't do none of the bullshit, man. I ain't on none of it. So don't come to me with none of it. Really, to be honest, bro, I ain't even really trying to just be talking to people a lot now like i'm just you know you got to talk to see wakely because my heart is too big to just really like tell people no so a lot of times people if they get me on the phone which my number been on so many cds it's been the same number for almost 10 years right you know what i'm saying mine too that's, unfortunately that's a big thing Jesus. in itself yeah you mine know what too. I'm saying? so you know people call me man and and, and and you know i try to help people out i try to do what i can but it's going to be a point of time where you got to talk to Wakely. It's protocol. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know. That's it. it, it that's what it is. And he can't do it. <laughs> he just can't fucking do it. <laughs> K100 do Radio, it. project review right now, Blood Raw, to the death of me. This is track number 11. Uh, I can't do it. Let's check it out. Trump, Danny. DJ Win. DJ Win. <laughs> Watch me work, you bastards. I can't bastards. fuck with these niggas, they hate. I can't fuck with these bitches, they fake. No, I can't do it. I can't do it, my nigga. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't fuck with these niggas. Fuck me. 
K100 Radio, we're live right now, man. For our project review, uh, Blood Raws to the Death of Me. Man, hey, we still got about, ooh, 10 more minutes. 347-934-0966. We got about two more songs. I'm on live with the homie Blood Raw, man. Yeah. Yo, man, it's been a, yo, it's been a, it's been a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty great event, man. Pretty great segment, man. I'm pretty sure. I know when you look at the, uh, I know when you look at the, uh, the Facebook Live, when you finally get a chance to look at it. And just be, just be aware that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm probably going to put this on YouTube as well. You know what I'm saying? So p- people who don't really right. fuck with Facebook like that, we're gonna put it on YouTube so you can share. But uh, any, any anybody who rocks with yeah. Facebook Live, this is gonna stay up. It ain't gonna go nowhere. You can always go back and watch it and listen to it. You know what I'm saying? And check it out. You know what I mean? And just and just vibe with it. You know, what I'm saying? even if you didn't catch it live, man, that's the good right. thing about it. It's automatically automatically on display after the fact, man. But I appreciate you rocking with us over here, K One's Radio, uh, letting us do this, man. Again, You're big up. ups to the team. Shout out to DJ Win. You feel me? Make sure you go get the project on live yeah. mixtapes, man. Spotify, anywhere you can get music, man. All these places that you can get music, blood. Let's put this all the way out. Follow him on Twitter at True Blood Raw, uh, Instagram at Blood Raw One. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's uh, it. That's yeah, that's it. it. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you you get up with him, man. What's yeah. the website, Blood? What's the website? The main website. Raw News TV. Raw News TV. I mean, that's that. You know what I'm saying? We we you got everything. Anything concerning Blood Raw Plus. What's going on in the industry? We got it on there, man. Y'all, y'all log on to that thing, man. I before we before we get into the feed my family song, man. I just really want to let y'all know that you know Blood Raw Entertainment is really a, a, a real established label. I came in the game basically Blood Raw Entertainment. If you look at anything I ever done, it's always been Blood Raw Entertainment. Even on the uh, uh, the CTE project, um, Blood Raw, you seen Blood Raw Entertainment. Um, and what what that consists of? My main man, Amp P, me C Wakely, Amp P. The quarterback, you know what I'm saying? My main man, Florida J. You know, all these guys, man, they put in so much work, man, that, you know, it, it, I can't even salute them enough. I can't even thank them enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I grind so hard because I want all of us to be millionaires. You feel me? And, you know, like, they put in enough work, man. You know, and they've been with me since the beginning. So, you know, it, it, it's a big thing, man. It's a big thing, and I live by it. I'm a doubt by it. Absolutely, y'all. <laughs> And we all got to eat. I want everybody to understand. We all got to eat. You know what I'm saying? The artists, the producers, yeah. the DJs, the promoters, you know what I'm saying? The managers, everybody yeah. got to eat, bro. The whole team got to eat. So just just chill with the free freebies and askings and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo break some bread, bro. You know what I'm talking about at the end of the day. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, break some bread with cats. You know what I mean? If you really believe in them, if you really believe in blood, if blood got this music for sale, buy it. Is that fucking simple, bro? Buy it. One thing about it, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> just buy it, bro. You know I what I'm saying? Do it. Yeah, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just whenever you can financially, my thing with, with our people, man, if you really believe in in somebody and you really rock with them like that financially, because 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 we got a bad habit of supporting people, supporting complete strangers. You feel me? Sharing their content. When you share somebody content, bro, that's you put money in their pocket. Every time you share some 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 famous persons post or whatever you put money because because the more you because they get paid off social media clicks and likes that's still money you're still right. contributing to their yeah. pocket so even if it's just 
you ain't got to actually come out of your pocket, but constantly sharing content by people you claim you fuck with that you personally right. know is a big step, bro. Don't just, don't not share the shit. Sure. Share it. Because that helps us, and that helps us monetize what we doing at the end of the fucking day. Right. Let's jump into the next song, man. Uh, right. Feed My Family, uh, featuring Moet, produced by yeah. DJ Swift again. Break this one down so we can jump into this. Right. Well, basically, same thing I said, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, I, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to feed my family, man. And I'm basically, at, you know, at a place in my life where that's my main concern. Like, anything outside of my family, it, it don't even concern me. You know what I'm saying? I want to send a big shout-out to my man, Sippy J Promotions, my man, Zoe, man, Keep It 100 Music Group. Like, it's a lot of people that's done been around me, man, that's done supported me. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, I don't get to shout them out all the time. I don't get to give them a platform all the time, but these guys, man, they really like in my heart. You feel me? Uh, I got my man Dry One Thousand out of Dade County coming soon. Y'all lay around for that project, man. It's gonna be real major. You know what I'm saying? Some shit I'm doing behind the scenes, but y'all lay around for that. You know what I'm saying? But feed my family, man. That's my kids, man. I'm really trying to get on that level where I ain't got to do none of this no more. You know what I'm saying? And just raise my kids, man, and you know, uh, try to teach them. You know what I'm saying? How to be men and women. You feel me? Instead of being caught up into this materialistic world. And there you have it. K100 Radio, we're winding it down. <laughs> Track number 12, Feed My Family, featuring Mo Wet, K100 Radio. Blood Raw. Yeah. Let's get it. Real niggas stand up. I'm watching the game, though. Bitch niggas sit down. I know you niggas hate too. Cause real niggas man up. It's all good Watch though, niggas. Niggas get shot. Man you can't down. stop that nigga. DJ yeah. win. DJ you win. None of y'all niggas, cause it's clear that y'all don't care about me. That real. You say that you my dog, but can put a nigga on me. Oh. A nigga took a loss in the street. Uh-uh. Chase paper, cause I done been that broke nigga. I remember them hundred packs on the block, nigga, all night. They ain't even mud my ass till I got my sack right. The main nigga be in your face, the main one that hate no. Tell that hoe that you fell off. Well, fuck, nigga, keep waiting on me. The same nigga that dick right. Ain't nothing about you, nigga, for real. Politics, my ass, nigga. Fuck how you niggas feel. The same niggas be lame niggas, and ain't none of them gon' break no bread. The only way I'm stopping, nigga. Winding it down. K100 Radio, what's going on? Welcome, everybody. We got out to the last track, track number 13. While I'm still here, this is the yeah. bonus track. How'd you get this bonus track you know on here, Blood? Mm. Hold up, hold up. I mean, I, 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 really, I really basically been crazy. 60 about seconds. And, um, 
I, I was really influential on the song, the right. original song, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, just keeping it real, you feel me? But at the end of the day, man, you know, it's something that we don't do, man. We don't show love enough, you know what I'm saying? We say that shit when somebody gone and, and everybody show up to their funerals and everybody be like, I love you, I love you, I love you, and everybody crying and all that bullshit instead of telling them people why they was here. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's so many rap artists or so many niggas I know that's, that becomes ten times more famous when they dead, and that's bullshit. Tell them why they're here, man. Tell me why I'm here. I don't want to be dead and going to be the most famous rapper with that blood roll with that nigga. Like, no, nah, tell me that why I'm here, man. Support me like that while I'm here. You feel me? Absolutely, dog. Ten we definitely gonna seconds. Jump in. We're going to jump into this one, man, and we're getting ready to roll up out of here. I got one more bonus track of my own I'm going to play before we go, though. You know what I'm talking about? I got one more track after this one that I'm going to play for all my Facebook Live people checking in right now, man. But I really appreciate everybody rocking with us, man. You feel me? Don't go nowhere. We're going to check out While I'm Still Here, and then we're going to end this session with Blood Raw. Don't go nowhere. Let's check out track number 13, the last track on To The Death Of Me, man. If you guys have been rocking with this joint, yo, make sure you go. I'm going yeah. to go over here on Facebook Live, and I'm going to get the link, and I'm going to post the damn link again for everybody. You feel what I'm saying? For y'all to go listen to it, download it. And uh, also, make sure you guys uh, can purchase it. Uh, we'll get into where you can purchase the project from and all that real quick from Blood Raw in a second. But let's check out the last track on the album, which is a bonus cut called Why I'm Still Here on K100 Radio. Is that a nigga gotta die to become famous? I fucked up. Love me while I'm still here. Yeah, that was you when you did go. This shit crazy. I got a While I'm yeah. still here, man. Do it while I'm still here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Do it while I'm still here, man. Yo, yo, oh, blood rock. Yo, man, tell these, tell everybody where they can go get the music from, man. Everything that they need to know about the project, where they can, um, uh, everything, man. The, the social media, one more time, real quick. 
basically, man, basically you would get it on any 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 outlet that has something to do with music. Uh, TuneCore distributed thousands and thousands of stores, iTunes, uh, anything that you can imagine. It's on. It's on. Also on the mixtape website. All of them live mixtapes that feel. Uh, any one of them you can imagine. It's on there. Let's type in to the death of me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, you know, basically we working, man. Uh, get at me on Blood Raw One on on Instagram, True Blood Raw on uh, Twitter. Um, I mean, I can't follow nobody on Facebook, so you know you can follow me. Make sure uh, you do it. I mean, yeah. other than that, man, get at C Wakely for anything. Three five two six eight two twenty forty. The rent up a check tour is coming to a city near you. Blood Raw DJ Win. You feel me? It's going to be crazy, man. I promise you it's going to be crazy. And make sure you go and check that out. You dig? Now, I started the show out with a song that me and Blood did together, and I'm going to end it with a song that me and Blood yeah. fucking did together. Because I can't. That's why. Oh, man. <laughs> what happens when you're in the driver's seat? And um, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, your people don't even understand, man. You know, the, 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 the respect that, you know what I'm saying, we've had for... Um, each other as artists and just and, and just grinders, man. Like I said at the beginning of the show, it goes way back, and that's why I support the homie big time. You know what I'm saying? And he's a good dude. At the end of the day, right? He's uh showed us. He showed us. Uh, he showed us and me personally a lot of love. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, "Oh, blood didn't do this when he was on blood." I don't know what the fuck you talking about, but blood gave me a great opportunity to come <laughs> over there and fucking help. Hey, maybe let me tell a story. Let me tell a story real quick. Go ahead, tell, tell a story. A story real quick. Go ahead. Go ahead. Matter of fact. Before people knew who Justice League was, Justice League is the big producers that produce Rick Ross Maybach music. Right. You feel me? Right. Uh, 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 uh. Justice League, Maybach music is actually Blood Raw music. You know what I'm saying? It's just that Rick Ross became a little more famous before Blood Raw. Right. But Justice League is is Blood Raw music. That's the music that Blizzum talks about he wants to hear me on because me and Blizzum recorded countless of songs with Jay Holiday before he was Jay Holiday. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, in Justice League. <laughs> right. You know, uh, and just, you know, just different people that we work with together, you know what I'm saying, include, you know, uh, Blizzum recording me in Jesus' basement. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, you know, uh, the stories can go on and on, man, but, you know, it's a lot of things that happen between me and Blizzum that people don't know because, it ain't no bad motherfucking business that, you know, we got to tell our whole story of what we was doing. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But that's just something that y'all needed to know that, you know, we was doing major shit before major. Exactly. That's the whole point. Like, I be I be telling people, like, man, it, it, it's just crazy because I remember that, that the session that we did with the Justice League, and they they did, they definitely weren't superstars. They was dope, and people knew about them, but they wasn't stars, the Grammy, Grammy Award-winning producers. And I remember that was the first session, right. bro, that motherfuckers came in there and literally played live instruments. That, and it, you know, it was just, it's various right. things that just dealing with blood that I've had to actually, that, that have excelled me as an engineer and everything, man. That was the first time I had to actually run a session with cats bringing in literally the shakers, the drums, the, the horn, the sax, and then, you know, just really a real full <laughs> session with these dudes, with the Justice League, you know. And this was the first time I had a, right. you know what I'm saying? And, but it was it was, it was was one hand washed the other, man. It was just like, it was just great for me. I was glad that I was in the position to to do that, you know what I'm saying, at that time, right, at that right, facility. Right. And I had that plug, right. and, and and you paid it back, you know what I'm saying, bringing me over there to the engineer sessions with you with CTE. That's something that, that's just on my resume. Right. And cats don't even know how the opportunity came right. back. Oh, you used to work for CTE? Yeah, I did. For a summer, yeah, you know what I'm exactly. saying. <laughs> for one summer, right. you know what I'm saying. I did work for Jeezy for one summer. You know what I'm saying. With Blood yeah. Raw, you know what I'm saying. Sure. So you know, it's just like, yeah, you know, it, it's just these different situations that we've always had, and that people that some people are privy to and everybody don't know about. But it just it just solidifies, you know what I'm saying, the relationship and the respect that we've had for each other. And man, from us being from Panama City, right. like I said, from 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 one artist, from one man, and from one artist to another dog. Big ups on your grind, homie. At the end of the fucking day. Point I blank period. It, bro. Same you know what I'm saying? Same as you. And with that That's said, right. we've been doing this shit all our life. You know what I'm talking about? We've been dealing oh, with man. drama. We've been dealing hey, with hey, the Hey, one more thing, one more thing. What? One more thing, because I know he was looking in. He was watching in. Shout out to Marcus Rosier, man, for doing your thing, homie. I, 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 I follow you, and, and, and trust me, man, I'm going to get at you real soon 
on writing this book, man. It's something that I've been wanting to do, and I know you the guy that can help me and, and mentor me and, and get and get it done. I appreciate it. I support you. You already know it's love. Absolutely. Salute to the homie. We've had and we've again we've had him over here on K one hundred radio too. You know what I'm saying? That's that hometown right. shit. The people the right. people who are working and putting in the work, if I don't know who they are, bring them to my attention. But if I know who they are, trust me, the platform will definitely let you know who the fuck they are. You know what I'm saying? If they're coming out of Panama City For sure. making some noise. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Marcus Rosier, man. You feel me? Win the day. And we won the day. We yeah. won the day. We won the day. <laughs> right now. Shout out to the homie, man. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but uh, I'm going to ride out with one more joint uh, that I did with Blood Raw. Uh, me and my homie, we did a song. And, and people talk about police brutality and all this shit, man. We've been talking about this shit. We've been putting out the message yeah. in the music back a long time ago. Y'all just now, our black, baby, before y'all yeah. heard of Black Lives Matter, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about police brutality. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm going to end this joint with one of the songs that yeah. me and Blood got together called All Our Life, featuring my homegirl, Taisha. You know what I'm saying? Who's one of the uh, who's got one of the most unique, phenomenal voices I've ever heard, and she's still just a beautiful person. Big ups to her. Uh, and I'm gonna end the joint with this one right here, man. Shout out to everybody watching us over here on Facebook Live. I appreciate it. I'm also gonna put this on YouTube. This was the project with you, Blood Raws, to the death of me. I appreciate everybody for rocking with us over here on K1 Radio. And I'm just gonna leave y'all with this. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Chillin'
to the K100 Radio, hip-hop and R&B.